Ross, there's two tests you really should do on a, any element. There's doing the continuity test. So basically you connect your leads and it tells you whether you've got continuity of the element. So basically the element is going through the heater and back out. That's telling you you've got continuity. This one also tells you the ohms, so 11.8 ohms. Or you can click it onto just the ohm scale and that will tell you the ohm reading, the resistance reading of the uh, element. So basically that tells you that you've got a good intact element. But what it don't tell you is, is the insulation any good? Because you've got your element, then you've got a casing, then the element must not touch that casing obviously, otherwise the water would become live. This is an insulation multimeter tester, multifunction tester. But, it also tests the insulation resistance. So basically, Without having them wires together, it's got a lot of insulation resistance. So it goes off the scale at mega ohms. If you clip them together, a short circuit, there's no insulation resistance, so it says zero mega ohms. So basically what you want to do is test from one side of the element to the body of the element that you and then test now it goes off the scale so that tells me the insulation is good now you do it from the other end of the element as well so you're testing both sides of the element and that's good, a good reading I'll try the uh, bottom element now these all should be good because this is a good one. So that's got lots of insulation resistance. There's no leakage on this to earth at all. I'll swap these swords. You can just touch it on if you want. And that one's over limited again. So lots of insulation resistance on that. If there was a short circuit, so obviously I'm connecting both ends of the element now like there was a short circuit. Obviously you get a really low reading, naught. The maximum you really want is like 30 or 40 mega ohms. If this is at 40, that's about the lowest you want to go. It's starting to wear, you need to replace your element. So that's it really.